So at the minute in RISC, the in-demand skill set isn't necessarily a technical program. Um, we're finding that the what a client's looking for is not only people who can manipulate the data and work with the data, but they also need to translate that into business needs. So there's a lot more of understanding P&L, stakeholder management, actually translating that data into how it's going to benefit the business rather than just passing that on to another team. So we're finding that they need to be much more rounded in that regard. In terms of businesses, I think the key thing for them to understand is that if you're looking for a risk analyst or a fraud analyst, there's probably 15 other banks that are as well. Um, so the key thing that we try and do with them is make sure we run a clear process from start to finish that's mapped out before the process actually starts. So in that way, we can guarantee that if we send them someone, the process will be over within the range of other companies as well. In order for kind of stand out, I think it's they need to understand that a lot of it is down to transferable skills as well as kind of the core essential skills. Um, the market is very candidate short, as I've already mentioned. So um, rather than looking at a job and hoping to tick all the boxes, it's all about what you can actually bring to the team more than if they've done the X, Y, and Z. Um, another thing I'd say as well is that the commercial experience is king. So a lot of people are learning R and Python in their spare time, but I would highly recommend that if you can use it in your current role or in different areas of your current business, maybe like half a day a week, etc., then make sure you make the most of that because being able to say that you've done that in work rather than at home um, is a big difference.